here with the legend, Mick Accents. Um, as most of you know, or you should know by now, uh, Mick, this time last year, was diagnosed with a tumour and it was kind of touch and go for a it while, was. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and thankfully, you pulled through. Um, you're not completely out of the no. water yet, but it's looking a lot better than it was. Um, and Mick, in that period of sort of chaos and whatever, you know, the, the shit that you went through, you decided, right, you know what, life's too short, let's go and do the Dakar. Yeah, I was looking to do seven and uh, the minute I got diagnosed with a tumour, for some reason the Dakar became to the front of me. And it was my drive to recover and put a sparkle back in my eyes to keep fighting. And, you know, now it's getting closer and for sure, we're, you know, we're, uh, we're going, 100% yeah. going. Entries in, it's been a hard fight, a very hard fight, much harder fight than I was expecting it to be. And you've been now being past fit. Medically, yeah, medically. That's the big, I mean, that was a big sort of challenge. That was a big it? thing, yeah. for sure. It was a massive relief because obviously it wasn't just my ACU license. I lost my driving license, so that was a big scare. And then I had to, get, you know, go in front of the board with the ACU, and they've sanctioned me fit. I'm on the queuing up list, the same with everybody else in yeah. October to receive their license. So that was a massive uh, relief day. And um, you know, now I think for me the the hard bit of the journey has been. It's perhaps not been respected the way I thought it was going to be. No. And that hurts me. Yeah. I've been involved with bikes a long time and the Dakar's an amazing event, big, big drive to lots of people. It was my dream. What's the logo to the Dakar? Chase the dream, believe the dream. And um, it's been a big change of view for me, for sure. The last year has been a hard fight from the minute I started to go to actually go through what I've been to to get it. I know it was always going to be tough. It's always been a fight to get to the Dakar, but it has kind of been a little bit different met than I was hoping it was going to be. So, you're going, you're 90% there. Yep. And this video really is a shout for you guys because you're, you're still five grand short? Yes. So, and the thing that really pissed me off when I was chatting to Mick the other day, the motorcycle industry has given you nothing. 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 Pretty much zilch. You've got some parts, um, k will come board. Yeah, um, um, you know, truthfully, I've just been out, brought my own bike, put myself into three years of finance because it means that's much for me to return. Yeah. And um, RST have come along and, you know, they've put quite a lot of money into, um, into the pot, which is amazing. Bridgestone are going to provide tyres to take them across to the Dakar, which again is a massive help. Um, other than that? Nothing. No. So, this is really for you guys. Come on board. Be part of the journey with Mick. If you can get involved financially, contact us, contact Mick, get involved please. We'll put some links in the description. Um, but yeah, Dakar deserves to be treated better, more respected anyway, and this man likewise. So let's make it happen. Please get involved whatever you can. Uh, and for me, you know, it's a human story. We all know, you know, Dakar would change my life, became a big part of me and then to return is an amazing opportunity, but for this, this time it's for a different reason. I want to inspire people across the world to keep smiling, keep believing in themselves, and uh, well, for sure, we want to help the NHS and put some money their way, and um, that was my whole motivation to go, and I think the Dakar is the way to tell that story. It's an amazing race, one of the toughest races in the world, and if we can prove to the world that you can come back and go and conquer something on that scale, to me, I believe, not only just for me, but for lots of people, we're telling a true story, and. That is what it's about. January, you know, it's getting closer. During the 5th, I'll be sat on the start line and every little bit of pain I've been through will then reflect on what it means to me. And hopefully this very nice man is going to come along and uh, one day I am going to get him to do a rally and share it with me. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> but yeah, get involved, please, guys. Get, do what you can. Um, yeah, let's get him on the road. Yeah, it's an important story, not just from bikes, from a human story. And um, well, let's get the UK on the map. Let's get it established through the Dakar. Let's tell this story and more people believe in the journey that we are going through and we can do it and uh, come out the other side with a smile on our face. Thank you. <laughs>